Hi, thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we are going to be working Lewis dot structures for molecules in which a central atom violates the octet rule by having an expanded octet. Hydrogen, beryllium, boron violate the rule by having less than eight. These are ones that have more than eight. And you don't have to memorize them. It's, you're just going to force it to happen. Now, these central atoms would need to be in period three or further down the periodic table. Um, otherwise, they're simply not big enough to accommodate more than four atoms around them. So I have one bromine, it brings seven. I have five fluorines, they each bring seven. I have 42 electrons to play with. So first thing I'm gonna do is make my bonds. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 234, 36, 38, 40. Now, I've used 40 electrons and everything is satisfied. So what you're going to do, remember I, t I like to, if you've watched my other videos, you know I like to call the central atom mama. And you put two extra electrons on that central atom. You can put kind of an electron cloud there uh, that can help you see them a little bit better. But I have learned the hard way. Don't put a line there because lines are for bonds. And so you don't want to do that. So you either leave them just hanging there or if you want to set them off, you can put what looks like a little bit of an electron cloud. So now we see that we have a bromine. We have five fluorines surrounding it. And we have one non-bonded pair on the central atom. So that bromine took 12 electrons around it. And we had to force it. It's it's not something you memorize. Let's try this chlorine, ClF3. They're all in group seven, so we have four times seven, we have 28 electrons. Two, four, six. Let's satisfy our central. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. We still have two more electrons and we're going to put them on the central atom. Okay, just like that. So again, if you kind of want to set them off with a little bit of an electron cloud, do it a little neater than I just did so it's very clear. And we have an A, B3, because there's three fluorines, E2 structure. Really going to help you with your memorization if you can wrap your mind around that. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. This is SF4, sulfur tetrafluoride. There's only one sulfur. It's the least electronegative. We're going to put it in the center. Spread your fluorines out. Sulfur has six valence electrons. We have four times seven. So that gives us 28 plus six. So we have 34 electrons to play with, unless I miscounted, and you'll tell me, I'm sure. Leave me a message. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now, you notice I'm not playing two for one, two for me, you, you know, two for me, two for you kind of game. It's because I know fluorine won't ever double bond. It likes electrons too much. It's not going to share so much. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So I have two more electrons to play with. So I'm going to put them on the center, just like that. And I have an A, B4, A for the sulfur, four Bs for the fluorines, and one non-bonded pair. Thanks for joining me, and good luck with chemistry. Appreciate you. Take care.